In this video, I design and create this octopus arm aquascape and it turns out fantastic. So if you'd like to see the process, watch the video and stay to the end to see how awesome this thing is. Welcome back to IC Live. My name is Mark. So this is the octopus arm aquascape that I work on today. I am also working on a nano tank for this to go into, so I can't wait to get that all set up. But before I get that finished, uh, I have to go ahead and get this aquascape done and printed out. And I know it's going to take a while, but let's roll things back and start from the top with the sketch. I forgot to record the first part of this sketch, so that's why the paper's already got some doodles on it. But at least I did capture the part where I actually kind of get the feel that I'm looking for and trying to achieve with this octopus arm when it sits inside the tank. With the sketch done, it's time to start modeling. I haven't done a lot of kind of organic models before, so this entire process right here is gonna be a bit new to me. So I guess just uh, gonna be some trial and error. All right, the rest of this modeling was basically much of the same, just making more suckers. So I just duplicated them, pushed them to the side, and no need to show you the rest. Three hours later. These suckers took forever to finish, and uh, they actually turned out really well, but I know there's better ways to do this. There's also better softwares to do this with, although this is the one I know, so I stuck with it. Either way, the model is finally complete, and now I'm going to go ahead and put it into Mesh Mixer and give it a texture. The texture is done and this thing looks sweet. And time to get it printed. This is going to be a very rough print. So we'll see how this goes. Slicing is gonna be a struggle. One eternity later. Whoa, two days, two hours and 40 minutes. That is 50 hours and 40 minutes. 
and this oh my goodness next one three days eight hours and 15 minutes that's a grand total of 130 hours and 55 minutes or five days 10 hours and 55 minutes wow this is going to be interesting and it's time to start the print bunch of mess ups but these are all that's just from this that's from this support tower collapsing so luckily these they will all come right off no problem oh man it's gonna be sick to clean this thing up so I cleaned everything up and now I'm gluing it together with an ABS and acetone slurry All right, time to let this thing dry overnight and see what it looks like in the morning. The next morning. Wow, I could not be happier with how this thing turned out. It is rough. I did print it with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, so that's why you can see the layer lines really well, but it's totally irrelevant. It's got flaws everywhere. It looks awesome. Now you can see there's the connection line. The entire model is gonna get refinished before I actually put it into a tank so that the layer lines are a little bit more solid and there's no risk of them breaking and that it's prepped for coral to be able to attach to it and grow on it. So that wraps up this video. I will be doing a follow-up video in which I actually finish it and get it into an aquarium. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you live in the next video.